just like every year, thousands of fish had arrived at the Great Barrier Reef. That was where they held the Reef Cup. It was the most important underwater race in the world. Blaze and her friend Bubbles were at the starting line. It would be really great to win the Reef Cup. Yeah, we've trained a lot all year long. Standing next to her was Shox, the electric eel. She had won the last two races. Everybody knew she was capable of doing anything it took to win. Overhearing them, she said, This year, I'm going to win the cup again. Eels are a fish that are shaped like snakes. They can grow up to six and a half or eight feet long and weigh up to 44 pounds. They can discharge electrical shocks if they feel threatened to protect themselves. Sea turtles are reptiles with flat bodies, a shell, and extremities in the shape of fins. They live in the open sea, in shallow lagoons, or in coral reefs. At the start of the race, the fish swam through the coral and seaweed. During the race, they could encounter many dangers, strong currents, moray eels, and fearsome sharks. Blaze and Bubbles swam speedily and moved to the front. Shocks closed in from behind. They saw how she shot a spark at a fish in front of her. Did you see that? They should disqualify her. They would if they saw it. But she's very clever. Let's keep going. Octopuses are mollusks. Tentacles with lines of suction cups come out of their huge head. They use their tentacles to move around and defend themselves from other animals by shooting ink at them. Blowfish live in deep water and in coral reefs. They have large spines and can fill up with air and water to make themselves bigger. That way, other animals can't eat them. Blaze and Bubbles came out of a tunnel. They swam rapidly, hoping to avoid any sharks. Then they saw that something was falling from the surface. Look out! Get out of the way, Bubbles! It was a white microwave. It had a glass door that opened and closed like a shark's mouth. It had been thrown by somebody who didn't care about polluting the ocean. Bubbles didn't react in time and was trapped inside the appliance. He was very scared to see that he was falling into the deep. The manta ray is a fish that lives in warm waters around the world. Other fish looking for protection or to feed off its leftovers attach to the underside of its body. Did you know that they can jump out of the water like sharks and dolphins? Dolphins are mammals that live in the water. They are highly social and live in groups of around 20. Did you know that dolphins can make a wide range of sounds? Coral reefs are communities of living beings with a huge diversity of corals, seaweed species, invertebrates, and fish. 
Did you know that they're also known as the forests of the sea? Blaze was in first place. She could win the Reef Cup, but she would never have been able to forgive herself if something happened to her friend. Seeing Shocks, Blaze asked her for help. Shocks, my friend is in danger. Please, could you help me rescue him? I can't do it alone. And lose the Reef Cup? No way! Good luck with the rescue! And she swam off. Blaze didn't hesitate and swam towards the microwave. She was afraid for her friend. She hit the glass with her head, but nothing happened. She tried to open the door with an oyster shell, but that didn't work either. All of the fish in the race passed above her, but Blaze didn't care. Finally, she discovered a button, and when she pushed it, the door opened. Bubbles was free! Crabs are invertebrates from the crustacean family that live near or in the water. They have ten legs they use to swim and move around. Their front legs are shaped like pincers, and they use them to pick up food. Seahorses are fish that live in warm water and are endangered. Unlike other fish, they swim in a vertical position. Did you know that their name comes from the fact that their head looks like a horse's? Blaze and Bubbles crossed the finish line in last place, and the crowd cheered. Everyone knew that Blaze had chosen to save her friend instead of winning the race. Right then, a giant octopus announced the name of the winner. Shocks proudly came forward to collect her prize, but nobody cheered for her. We have decided to award a special prize. For her loyalty to her friend, and for her behavior during the race, Blaze will receive the Cup of Sportsmanship. Jellyfish are invertebrate marine animals. They live in warm and tropical waters. Their bodies are gelatinous and shaped like bells, and they have long tentacles. Their tentacles have cells that excrete venom as a defense mechanism. Starfish are echinoderms. Their bodies are made up of a central piece that five arms are connected to. They live on the bottom of the sea in coral reefs or seaweed forests. Blaze was happy. It was a golden cup, much bigger than the reef cup. She shared it with her friend Bubbles. All of the fish cheered and chanted their names. Shocks, embarrassed, left with her cup. That day, she had learned that in sports, winning isn't everything. Welcome to the story, The Ant Hill. The winter was over. In the throne room, the queen spoke to the youngest ants. It was a very important moment before going out to look for food for the first time. Remember, the work you do is 
vital for our home. Pampy was there. She was smaller than the others and was a little scared. And if we get attacked, they say it's dangerous out there. That is true, but don't be afraid. Hercules will protect you. Ants are insects that live in colonies of millions of individuals. There are worker ants and a queen in an ant colony. They eat leaves, sticks, and other dead insects. Their mandibles are very powerful. Ant colonies are spaces that ants build and use as a refuge to live in and store their food. They're made up of tunnels and entrances they carry food through. Hercules arrived at the ant hill. He was tall and strong. Thank you for coming, Hercules. We'd be honored for you to work at our ant hill. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'd prefer to defend the colony instead of carrying food or working in the pantry. The queen agreed that Hercules should defend them from spider and frog attacks. Ladybugs are insects that live on leaves. They have a round body that is red with black polka dots. They have antennae and wings they use to fly. They feed on fleas, mealybugs, and other small insects. The stag beetle is an insect in the beetle family. It lives in gardens, parks, and other places it can find wood. It feeds on tree sap and nectar. Pampy and the other ants left every morning for food. If there was any danger, Hercules warned them so they could run away. It's strange. There's always a threat right when we find the best food. One day, Pampy stumbled on a chocolate cake. She called the rest of the ants. As they were about to grab it, Hercules shouted, to the anthill, quick! There are wasps coming! All the ants ran. All but Pampy. She hid in the grass. When everyone was gone, Hercules took off the armor. He was a regular ant. Then he started eating the cake. No wasps came, and Pampy got really angry. She had discovered that Hercules was a liar. Wasps are flying insects. They have two pairs of wings, antennae, and a stinger. Only females have stingers, and they're well known for their stings. They feed on flowers and other insects. Dragonflies are one of the fastest insects thanks to their long, thin wings. They feed on other insects like butterflies, flies, and bees. They live near water in lake and river areas. When she got back to the anthill, Pampy told her two best friends what she'd seen. The three of them made a plan. They organized a party for Hercules. I propose a toast to Hercules, the brave. Suddenly, they heard shouting from one of the tunnels. A spider had gotten into the anthill. Hercules, defend us. If you could take the wasps, a spider will be easy. Its hairy legs poked through the opening of the tunnel. The spider must have been very big. 
Hercules looked at them in horror. Spiders are arachnids. They feed on other animals trapped in the webs they weave. They have poisonous glands, and their bites can be fatal. Australian spiders are the most dangerous. Friends, I can't defeat this spider. I'm not what I appear to be. Hercules took off his costume. He didn't look like a strong ant anymore. All of the ants were shocked, and then they were terrified. If Hercules couldn't protect them, it was all over. Don't be afraid. There's no spider here. Her friends came out of the tunnel holding two branches. Pampy explained how they'd found out about Hercules. I'm sorry I lied to you. What I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. Hercules, your lie put us in danger. If you want to live here, you need to work and never lie again. Butterflies are flying insects. They start out as larvae, turn into pupae, and then adults. They feed on leaves, flowers, seeds, and grains. Butterflies have very short lives and sometimes only live one day. In this story, you learned that you should never lie to others. You should always tell the truth. Sometimes lies can hurt the people you love. For everything to work out, we all have to work together. Like in the ant hill, teamwork is a very important value. Donkey, fox, frog, and chicken are lying down in the attic. They're old, and they don't work on the farm anymore. Ever since we don't work on the farm, I'm so sad. Do you remember when we were musicians? The whole farm came to listen to us. My grandson gets happy when I play the piano. We should play more to make other people happy. There's a music festival for children in Melody City. We can all go together. Let's get our instruments and sheet music. Our four friends set off to Melody City, full of excitement and cheer. Frog, do you remember that song we played that day in the rain? I love that song. I'll start with the violin and you follow me with your trumpet. Our friends are lost in the woods. They don't know where to go. It's nighttime and they're afraid. The wind and the trees make terrifying noises. We should never have left. The wolves will eat us for dinner. I'm so afraid. I can't think of any way to find the path. I'm scared. I'm so scared I can't think straight. We're all afraid, but we'll get out of these woods. We just have to think up a plan together. Day broke, and a swan appeared who knew the woods very well, but didn't know where the city they were looking for was. I don't know where Melody City is. I only know the woods. I hurt my wing, and I can't fly. You should build a tower. You'll be able to see it from there. That's a great idea. Thank you. Donkey, you're the strongest. You'll be the base, then me, then chicken, 
and then on top frog, you can look for the city. We're saved! I can see Melody City! We have to follow this path! Swan! Would you like to come with us to the city? It'll be fun! We're here! Great! Let's play, guys! Lots of children have come to see us. We've got to make them all smile. I'm so excited to play my kettle drums again. Yes! What nice song! I love this music! Thank you guys for coming! We've had so much fun! Our friends made many children happy. Music has a special power to make people happy. They would never have been able to do it without everyone putting their minds together and Swan's good idea. Older people have years of experience that can help us in lots of different situations. Take advantage of the wisdom of people who have lived for a long time to listen and learn from them. Older people are our greatest treasure. Three friends live in the woods. Armadillo, sloth, and bird. One summer day, Armadillo, who loves to garden, gave his friends seeds to sow and then be able to harvest in the future. Here are some seeds we can plant in a garden to grow delicious food. Armadillo and Bird immediately rolled up their sleeves and planted a lovely garden. They watered their vegetables every day and watched them grow. But their friend Sloth had eaten his seeds and didn't work. He didn't understand why they had to work. He just wanted to play. It's a beautiful day. Working is no good. Be lazy like me and come play. His friends didn't answer him and kept working in their garden because they knew it was important to get ready for the harsh winter. Fall came and armadillo and bird began to harvest the fruits of their labor and store firewood in their houses to keep them warm during the winter. Sloth continued to do nothing. He was too busy watching the leaves fall. Winter is almost here, Sloth. We have to get ready for the cold. Soon there won't be any food left in the woods. You're so boring. Always work, work, work. You never play. I'm sure I'll be able to find food in the winter. Come play with me by the river a while. They said no, they had a lot to do. Sloth went to swim by himself. Winter arrived and with it, snow. There was no more food left in the woods. All the animals were in their houses away from the cold. Bird and Armadillo, too. Sloth decided to go ask them for help. Armadillo! Bird! Please! I'm terribly cold! And I'm very hungry! Can you help me? What were you doing while we were working, planting, and getting ready for the winter, Sloth? I ignored you. I ate the seeds you gave me and played all day. 
They decided to help him and let him in, but they reminded him how important it is to work hard and get ready for the future. Spring, Sloth had learned his lesson, and he realized how much fun it was to do things with his friends. They taught him how to plant seeds and make an even prettier garden than the previous one. Thanks for the hat, Sloth. You're right, you've got to be careful in the sun. Thanks to you guys for helping me when I needed it. They lived happily ever after with their tummies full. Armadillo and Bird taught Sloth that it's important to play, but also to work hard and think about the future. If they had played like him, they wouldn't have a house or food. Sloth learned that work is important to get ready for winter. If you want to learn more, click on more videos and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel and you'll stay up to date with new adventures.